So these are some of the things that we found in the cupboards. This one was really cool because um, it has our son's uh, initials on it. Um, and when I FaceTimed him to show him, he was a little bit less excited about it than I was, but um, I'm bringing it home for him anyway. And um, there were many, many of these beautiful blue and white plates. And um, this is one that my daughter picked out. She thinks it looks Art Nouveau. And she liked this one too. And I thought it was beautiful as well. And it has like the bees and the, the garden hat and rake. I don't know if you can kind of see the detailing there. And the basket. I'll put in the light. And it's really pretty. It's very old. Um, there is a mark on it. Um, it's hard to read. But um, it was one of the ones that was hanging. And then um, my son loved the bottle with the cork. And they liked these little, um, I think these are liqueur glasses. And it was a little Limoges box. But this was really, really cool. They're little Limoges miniatures in there. Um, and there's like four of them, teapots and... I don't know if these came in like cakes or if they were collector's items, not sure, but um, they're really pretty. So I'll bring those back and then a little egg cup to take home. Um, those are just some of the things that we're gonna bring with us when we go home. And then <laughs> this, these are just some of the liqueur um, eau de vie cups that I have no idea what to do with. And some are, you can tell, are very old, or at least mid-century. Um, I think that the um, the ones that have these sort of etched bottoms like this are Nouveau. These came from a set, and she must have collected them, or someone did. going to donate um, there's a lot of the of this sort of where which I know one of the YouTube channels that I watch she loves that stuff so I know someone will enjoy them and then of course some of the things that were on the wall that just are not quite our style some of the things that were here Pardon the lighting that we have decided to keep so some really beautiful egg cups I think these will make really excellent vases for wildflowers this summer even these little bud sized and Whoa, <laughs> try not to break them. The pictures. Um, and then some other just lovely um, porcelain. It's a whole Limoges. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, these will be explained. Well, I guess I could talk about them now. I found these in a brocant and um, I got way more plates than we have friends right now here in France. <laughs> so 
but we will have to um, increase our social network. But it came with a gravy dish and, um, oh gosh, I think like 17 of the bowl plates and 23 or 24 dinner plates and um, big platters. Um, but if there was no matching set here um, so yeah I just went ahead and found a I think it was kind of a beautiful bargain and um, so those are just some of the ones that I've added <laughs> to the collection and these were here these beautiful white ones are just plain but they, they have the same edge so um, I think they're gonna work out really great if you ever do have like family come they'll be, be really beautiful serving dishes at a brocante called happy truck and I have to say it's a little bit more than my favorite one still lots of cool stuff Michael found a coat for working outside which I should look forward to Yeah, that's really pretty. That matches our matches our theme. This beautiful set is from Mittertech from Bavaria, and it came with 24 dinner plates, seven saucers, 11 bowl plates, a gravy dish, three platters, and a big serving bowl. It was all for 49 euros, and frankly, I thought it was just beautiful. These are knife rests that also work as tiny bud vases if you want to put little flowers in them. And I thought they were really fun, and those are going to come home to the United States with us. So we knew purchasing this house that radon was potentially a problem. Radon's a gas that comes from granite. There's a lot of granite in this area. And this house is a stone house made mostly of granite. And so we knew that there would be a potential problem with radon gas because the house is all closed up for the winter. And when you're trying to heat the house, it stays closed up. And we also knew that many of our neighbors were in their 90s and so um, we, of course, went ahead and purchased the house, knowing this. It was also in our disclosures that radon gas was a potential problem in this area. So we purchased a radon detector, and that radon detector was um, showed us some interesting results. It showed that when the house was closed up, the radon gas essentially does go up. And then when we open the windows, the radon goes back down. And then when it was closed up, it goes back down. Um, so what we have learned from this is that we need to open the house up every few days and bring those gas levels back down. The um, detector also shows the humidity as well as the temperature and things like that. But it was just an interesting find and um, shows that we need to just be proactive in opening the house and airing the house out.